All right, we are ready to go. Whenever you're ready, Trey. <clears throat> All right, so I'm hanging out here with the uh, the three stars from the I. I yesterday pronounced it the Dodeca, but it's the Dodeca pentathlon. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's perfect. My yeah. mom mispronounced it yesterday too, but yeah, it's it, Dodeca. It, it's yes, a tricky I, one. It well, it, it lo it's like potato potato. You know, it looks like a do, but it's really a dough. Yeah, but, <laughs> dough. But, there's no deer in the movie. <laughs> but little, really? Mm -mm. Oh man! I know. But you can say to people, <clears throat> "Go do the Dodeca." Dodeca. Ah, Ooh. yeah, or go Deca. Or go, or go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like go to the movie and go Deca. Go Deca. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice cheer. <laughs> Love it. So it, it, it's it's about these two brothers uh, that uh, do the uh, the uh, twenty five uh, event uh, Olympic kind of event thing between them. Uh, yes. But is is do Deca pentathlon? Is that does that mean 25 events? Because I'm not real good with my Roman numerals. You it's, know, uh, it isn't. It's actually Greek. Basically. Oh, Greek. Yeah. Greek. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Thank you. I love Greek. Uh, <laughs> over here to my right. Well, Veka in Greek is 10. Okay. And Bende in Greek is 5. Okay. So Do is like 2 times 10, 5. So that's where you're getting 25. Oh. But it's not. It's know, not. It's not supposed yeah. to be. Absolutely mathematic. I think it actually comes to 17 because Do. And Deca is is technically twelve, I think. If, if, is yeah. 12. And believe me, there's been a number of people like, "Hey, man, that's not accurate." And, you know, well, I'm, I wanted that, to get it straight. Yeah. No, so there's a lot of people it. that would be curious about that. Yeah. The Not, yeah just me. You know, the, I'm one of those. I think it's idiots. important that we get this straight. Yeah. But they way. were in high school when they created the Olympics. So a couple of high school guys, maybe they felt a little ambitious about using their their Greek terms. But we, we did get emails from the classics department from Brandeis University, and yeah. they were really, they were really upset with us. That's where I went to school. Oh, is that where you yeah. went to school? <laughs> <laughs> so I got my MFA. I'm curious if, uh, if the, the brothers uh, <clears throat> gave you an idea of where the story actually originated from. They did, actually, uh, and Steve grew up with the brothers. Duplass in, uh, in New Orleans, and I guess it's based on two actual brothers that they grew up with. Did you know them? Yeah, I was going to say. So yeah. We all went to the same high school. Okay. They were uh, several years older than me, though, so I didn't know them, but I, I knew of them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And we got to meet them at a crawfish boil during the shoot, and that was quite fun. They were, <laughs> like, kind of beside themselves at this biopic was going on. <laughs> and, you know, I was intimidated. They were, I, I believe physically fit <clears throat> big gentleman and um, and I wanted to do them justice as did Steve and the That's why you got jacked. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got we had I I roided it up for it. Well yeah lot, I mean yeah so. it was very apparent that you guys really trained hard you know, <laughs> to to get ready for this uh, Hey dude, I don't appreciate that sarcasm. Oh that's not I, I, there's no sarcasm there. No, no. I was in my I was You in were my, in your prime <laughs> I'm, I'm doing. I was doing a little Marlon Brando thing with the role, man. Definitely was. Wanted... <laughs> Definitely. If you feel good, you look good. Yeah, absolutely. I just I let my oeuvre expand. <clears throat> you know, Jennifer, you're you're the one kind of caught in the middle between these two. I I, I I'm curious. What do you think it is about that that brotherly relationship that seems to be uh, annoying at times, but mm -hmm. also complicated? You know. Yeah. Um, well, I think that. Pretty much all sibling relationships are are complicated at mm. times, probably more often than not sometimes. Um, but I think that for my character, <clears throat> it wasn't just like watching two brothers kind of you know have have some friendly play with each other. It was uh, a lot more about a concern for my husband's mental well-being, his health and not wanting him to get sucked into something that I know has made him really unhappy. And so that's kind of where I was like, no, this is, not to be the fun police and like, no, you guys can't have fun and you can't, you know, you're excluding me. It was like, I don't want to have to deal with the aftermath of what's going to happen after we leave here. Mm. And he is depressed and, and going through right. a, a hard time after the fallout with his brother. I, I, okay. <clears throat> I was going to say, I just wanted to point out that Jen just used the term fun police in a sentence. And I, I, I'm going to be using that for... The, the, at at least time. until the end of the week, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is so good, fun police! <laughs> well, I'm going to make I a like brother that. citizen's arrest here <laughs> and say that it was... 
she, you know, didn't think it was fun for Steve, these games, but it was my job as his brother to remind him that it is fun. And see, we still... We're still, we can't get out of character. Well, I would say, Steve, you know, you were obviously reluctant at the beginning, but man, it, yeah. didn't, it didn't take more than a pool game to kind of get you back in. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I think, uh, right there, I think at the beginning of the movie... <laughs> Him at the car? Him at the car! Yeah. I, I, think, uh, I think I'm out of balance. <clears throat> My character's pretty much out of balance, like at the beginning of the movie. I seem just to be this depressed sort of dude who's just has no joy in his life uh, and then Jeremy comes along and then I go off balance in the opposite direction <laughs> and I think by the time at the end of the movie I think I've found a little bit of real balance like between those two worlds yeah you know because um, it's good to you know to have fun and to have joy and to be in touch with things that you know make you happy and you know, connect with your light of fire and inside that may be dim or smoldering. You know, exactly. get that passion back. Yeah, and you kind of go in the opposite of direction. Airplane. You know, I, yeah. I see with your character, you come in and your your, your initial joy is just to, you know kind of poke the bear a little bit. You yeah, know, you re all your joy comes from driving your brother crazy. Yeah, yeah, especially being denied the invite to his birthday, which you know that cuts deep. Yeah, and so I wanted to poke at him and r remind him that I'm still alive and and. Uh, spirals into a whole lot of wow. So let's talk really quick about the the, <clears throat> the, the events. You know, um, I'm curious, when, when picking the, the 25 events, did you guys have, hey, this has to be in, and no, we can't do this? You know, were there certain events that had to be included? Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Um, <laughs> well, Mark is actually a really good at baseball in real life. So. Okay, Dusty. So, and you can tell by his swing in the batting cage that he knows how to swing the bat. Nice swing. Um, Left-handed too, man. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely bad at basketball, so <clears throat> basketball had to be in. And, and we, also, we, we also picked who had to win certain sports. Yeah, like there was no way that he was going to let me be the guy that wins basketball because that's his real-life cherished sport. Yeah. So, I didn't want to see him hitting the baseball all over the place. Right. So our, our real life actually <coughs> is they kicked down there for a little bit, mm -hmm. for sure. 